So I was in the process of binding my Tyrannus to the Mobula 7, and uh, so I took the canopy off, and I noticed what I think is really a design flaw. Uh, the rubber isolation grommets that they use are fairly short, so what happens is this whole uh, flight controller and ESC um, board floats up and down in this, which I don't think is a good thing, uh, because if you get into a crash, you know, it's going to slip a little bit, and it's going to pop out of the grommets, I think, easier than uh, if it had, you know, proper spacing here. Uh, and, you know, I kind of understand why they did that, because um, I tried double stacking, you know, with two grommets, and the problem with that is um, the um, flat controller board is too tall, and then it starts hitting the canopy, um, the uh, VTX and uh, camera here. So I kind of understand what they were trying to do. They left it floating so that, you know, they could, in manufacturing, they could kind of push it down to, to give it enough clearance, you know, on the uh, uh, VTX camera um, right here. But the problem with that is still, you know, it still floats up and down. It can get kind of cross uh, angle. So uh, what I did was uh, to correct that, I went ahead and actually cut a rubber grommet in half. And so what I'm going to be doing uh, is using that as a spacer on the bottom. And then I'm going to use, um, you know, a regular, excuse me here, um, I'm going to be using a regular spacer and uh, stack that on top of that. And um, I'm going to use that to secure the, the flight controller. And then on top of that, um, I'm going to go ahead and add the, the top piece of the grommet that I cut in half. And that allows it to have enough clearance between basically, which is the, the canopy here, um, the VTX and the controller board. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and let's see if that works out. So this is what the final modification looks like. As you can see, I now have uh, proper grommet spacing. We have the half grommet on the bottom, full grommet in the middle, half grommet on the top, and then on the front, I have this a screw to hold it all in place on the front because I didn't have one. Um, I have a Happy Model Snapper 7 where I had to do the same thing because what happens at tends to creep up and then uh, you can, uh, you know, it'll actually dislodge and then the flight controller will fall out of this groove. So that keeps it all in place. But remember there was an entire bushings worth of gap here. So what was happening with me, this had uh, been pushed up, um, I think to give clearance down here on these connectors and it was hitting, hitting the, the VTX and camera right here. And I'm going to be doing, you know, a lot of part flying with this. And I wasn't able to give it the right, the right amount of tilt. But with this modification, keeping the um, flight controller in the right position, um, it works. It works great. I wish they would have given it even more clearance with this canopy design, but they uh, didn't. So uh, it is what it is. And then what you want to do, you want to do the same thing on the other the other three corners, um, and then just use the screws that are, are provided. Uh, so uh, I will link um, what I used as far as my grommets. Um, Beta FPV has this little kit it comes with. I mean, just a ton of these little rubber grommets, and then various length screws. I use the shortest screws, the same, uh, same length that uh, came with the Mobula 7 as far as what I used on the front here. And, uh, you know, this is like six bucks or something. And again, I'll link it, I'll link it in the comments section. The other thing I would recommend that you do is when you're mounting your receiver antenna, I um, routed it along the side of the canopy here. Um, you can, you know, zip tie it with, on this cross member here, but I got better, uh, I get better reception. I did the same thing on the UR65 and the Happy Model Snapper 7. Um, I did the same thing 
and I ended up getting better RSSI values by doing it that way. So with that, uh, hopefully that's helped somebody out, and uh, I'll link, uh, you know, uh, where to get the, the beta FPV below. Thank you.